everybody. Okay, so today I have a very fun kind of creative video, kind of a different vlog today, I guess. I am going to be doing, well, I'm going to be attempting a Disney nail art video. I've done some things like this in the past and even times that I haven't filmed it, I always just love every trip that we go on. It's kind of how I know I'm about to go to Disney is when I do like a Disney inspired manicure <laughs> on myself. So I really love Disney nail art and I have this vision right now for something um, Festival of the Arts inspired. So I wanted to share it because if it turns out good, that'd be awesome. I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. But this might be, disclaimer, this might be a complete epic fail. I really, I've never attempted anything like this before, but we're gonna see how it works out. Also, I guess this is kind of like a trip announcement video as well. I go to Disney World tomorrow. I am so excited. It is my first time attending Festival of the Arts. That's what kind of had me all inspired to do this Festival of the Arts um, nail art tutorial. So yeah, let's just jump right into it and hopefully this works out. If not, you probably won't see this footage. So if you're seeing this right now, I guess it went well or semi well. So let's see. <laughs> this will be definitely fun. I love trying different creative things like this. So let's jump right into it and see what we can get up to today. So I will go ahead and show you kind of what I have here in front of me. I'm sitting here. Mickey's with me. He's my helper. Mickey. Okay, so Mickey's with me. I have my nail polishes over here and I have a just wide selection of just different colors and everything. I have a paper plate that I'm gonna put the colors on. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is like a nail kind of splatter, paint splattered look. Um, I kind of saw some things like this online when I was looking stuff up and I watched a bunch of videos. I think I know how to do this. We're gonna see. I have paper towels because I know I will probably need that. And lastly, I have some tape over here because that, I'll get into that in a second. It's all part of the process here. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a paint splatter nail thing. <laughs> this could work, it might not. Like I said, I watched some videos on this. Basically what you do, you paint your nails, like the base color, and then using a straw, you blow into the straw and um, basically paint splatter your nails. So that's why I have this tarp down here, um, this old kind of painter's tarp, so that then that way, if I have a feeling it's gonna go everywhere, I don't make a whole mess. So we're gonna go ahead and see how this works. But the other thing is once you know you're splattering, you need to protect the rest of your fingers and everything and not have paint go everywhere and have a hard time cleaning all that up. So I'm going to go ahead and um, Put some tape around my fingers. I don't know if I'm gonna use just regular scotch tape or maybe painter's tape. I feel like this might be a little more flexible. Um, they suggested using painter's tape, but I don't know, we'll see. What they really suggest for something like this is using that like latex skin. I do not have any of that, but if you have that, that's what you wanna go ahead and apply all around your finger to protect it from paint splatter. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and let's see how that goes. Okay, so I was successful. Look, I have taped with, I ended up doing scotch tape because I thought the painter's tape would be not as flexible for me. So this was a process, let me tell you. This is definitely, I feel like if somebody else could help you with this, that would probably be best. But um, yeah, so. I have taped up my nails, this looks so crazy. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and take my white paint and just paint this as like a base coat. This is gonna be like my plain white canvas and then we will start paint splattering. So this is gonna be basic, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint all my nails white. finish I just did two coats of the white and now I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out my colors once I let this dry for a second okay so I think I decided what colors I'm gonna go with for my paint splatter I'm gonna do blue yellow there we go and then this kind of red pinkish color I really like so I figured I'll go classic with the primary colors since this is the art festival I was thinking of doing some of these purples and pinks and everything. And that's the fun thing. You can really do 
anything you want, but I think I'm gonna stick with these three. I could do more than that, but I don't know. I wanna see how this looks once I start putting the colors on and see like how much we have going on. This is, I have to just say, this is just crazy. I have my nails taped up right now. I'm like, uh, turning the camera on and off has been a struggle with this, but we're making it work. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna start with the blue. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead, put some of that out onto my paper plate here. Oh, and pro tip, if you want to, before you tape your nails up like this, go ahead and just open the tops of all these things. That's what I figured out would probably be the best. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a generous amount and kind of slap it here on my plate. You need to just have enough that it can, the straw can pick it up. You could also probably go ahead and just stick the straw down in here, but I don't know, I'm just gonna do this. So, that way I can keep reapplying easy if I have to. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I got my straw, oh, I'm like so nervous. I feel like this is gonna be a mess, but it could turn out really good. Okay, I'm just going to, let me show you this. Take the straw, this is what I saw online. Just allow it to kind of go up into the straw like a good amount. And then you're just gonna blow on the end of the straw, okay. <laughs> okay, it splattered, but it splattered the tablecloth and not my actual finger, so let's see. Okay, take two. <laughs> Once again, it's going on my finger and not the nail. And I just remembered why I brought my paper towel over. I'm gonna put that over top of my hand when I do this. Okay, so I realized what I think would be easier is I am gonna actually just dip my straw down in the paint to get some more in there. Okay, let's try this out again. Oh, it did it this time! My fingers are gonna be a mess, but I'm liking this. Okay, so here we're gonna keep going. Okay, so I have done the blue. I've definitely determined you can't put it on the plate and then try to scoop it up. It is best to go ahead and just dip the entire straw into your nail polish. But oh my gosh, I am like really happy with, it's kind of coming along the way that I thought, like the way I was hoping it would. So, and once we get the other colors on there, it's gonna kind of all start taking shape, but I like it. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so then what I saw online, this is a pretty good tip so that you don't have to use multiple straws. Just go ahead and I have my scissors here. I'm just going to cut off the part of the straw that I've used. All right, so now I think let's go in on the yellow. So we got the yellow going on there. I am happy with how this is turning out. It's turning out pretty cute, I think. 
Once we get everything else cleaned up, I think it will kind of take shape a lot more. So done with yellow. Once again, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut my straw. All right. Now we're down to almost nothing. Maybe have another straw handy with you so that you don't run into this problem, especially if you're doing more colors. But okay, now we're gonna go in on that red color. Okay, so I've let my nails dry. I had to do some cleanup and everything, but it was surprisingly, I think this was a success. I have to say, I'm very proud of myself for I think I accomplished what I was going for. So here we go, here are my nails. I will give a little close up. I still have to kind of clean off some of my excess paint and everything, but I mean, I am really excited about this. This just had me so happy and ready for Festival of the Arts. I cannot wait to be there. So yeah, this was, I'm excited, I would say it was a success. Let me go ahead and show you my nails. And so yeah, all I did was I just waited um, a while to let them dry. I didn't take off the tape around it until I was pretty sure they were like almost completely dry because I didn't wanna, you know, smudge my nails as I was doing that or anything. Once again, if you have another person, this might be better. But um, yeah, still definitely just let your nail dry a little bit before you take off the tape or if you have the, um, whatever they call that stuff, like the um, latex skin or whatever that you can um, put around. Definitely wait a little bit and then go ahead and remove it. I think I might just apply a clear coat um, just to seal everything in. And yeah, there you go. So this was actually pretty simple. Definitely just put down some type of tarp or newspaper or something because it will get messy. But I had a really good time. Stuff like this is just so fun. I like doing anything, you know, creative and everything. It's very appropriate for Festival of the Arts as well. And then one other thing which I was debating doing, but I don't know, I kind of, I don't know if it would overpower it. I was thinking of adding a hidden Mickey into my nails. Don't know if I'll do that or not, but... It could be kind of cute. Um, I would just take like a little daughter tool that I have. That's what I usually do when we go to Disney. It's just some type of hidden Mickey on my nails. But I don't know. I don't know if that will get lost here in my nail polish. We'll see. Maybe. The night is young. Who knows what I might do before I put my clear coat on. 